All right, I'm actually in the middle of recording a PC, a really cool PC build project for my wife, but we've got some more Windows 10 news that I'm not actually all that excited to share with you today. And this camera was set up to do B-roll for the PC build, so hopefully settings are right. This is with my new Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K I've been working on le learning, rather. So, Jason Evangelo, I hope that's how you say his name, is a tech writer over at Forbes, who I've been following and interacting a lot with with regards to Linux stuff, and so naturally it comes up that there has been yet another file deletion bug discovered within the Windows 10 1809 update. Now, keep in mind, 1809 has apparently not actually started rolling back out to users yet. And if you missed all of my videos, there it rolled out, and then there was an issue with it where it was deleting user library folders if you had moved them to another directory and left files in the previous one. I outlined all of the issues that may have resulted in that affecting you in a previous video. I'll have that linked in the description or the YouTube card icon or whatever. Uh, and I was affected myself. I had about three or four machines that all auto-updated, even though these are only supposed to be rolling out to insiders and those who manually chose the update. I had a few rigs that auto-updated and my grandmother's machine auto-updated. She didn't lose any files, but her Microsoft Word installation and her printer drivers got totally borked. Like I was able to eventually, after like an hour, fix her uh, printer, but her Microsoft Word installation is just all kinds of screwed. But it was affecting a lot of people, and while a lot of people thought I was just being a conspiracy theorist, there were a lot of people also in the comments echoing that it was affecting them as well. Well, while insiders were more thoroughly testing the 1809 bug, or 1809 update, same thing, I guess, as it's supposed to be fixed now and rolling back out, uh, <laughs> they have discovered another uh, file deletion bug that results from uh, their file extracting during the update process where... Uh, extracting from an archive using File Explorer instead of 7-zip or WinZip or what have you uh, meant that it wouldn't prompt users to overwrite files and so either the file extraction would fail or it would overwrite files, which overall probably isn't a huge deal initially. However, there are certain installers or certain other file processes where that could happen, and if it doesn't ask you, it could just be overwriting things, which could be a problem. File deletion bugs, period, are unacceptable. Now, a big issue that he raises here is that while theoretically the affected user base of the original 1809 update was fairly small due to the tier rollout that they do, had they literally waited like three more days for the full rollout to go into effect, had people like him and myself and People brought up, I don't have any illusion that Microsoft has a clue who I am personally overall, but had people not made enough noise about this issue with this update and they canceled the rollout literally like a couple days before it would have just forced itself 100% on everybody, there would have been millions and millions of people affected. And this is now the second file deletion related bug with this particular update that they have missed. Now. To Microsoft's credit, and I kind of forgot to explain this in my last update video, they did announce with the admittance that the last update was bugged and deleting users' files and yada yada. They did uh, announce that they are revamping the Insider Feedback Hub and changing how user testers provide feedback and how they see it because clearly they missed all, this, all the feedback suggesting that the update was bugged and that's unacceptable. And they, I guess, agree and are working to fix it. However... The fact that any of this needs to be done multiple years after the release of Windows 10, multiple years after they fired their, fired, laid off all their QA team and stopped testing things in-house in the first place is just becoming ridiculous in my opinion. This is just ridiculous. This is an, another bug that they're missing. They're not testing it themselves. They're relying on users to test it and a very flawed system of reporting for testing it. And even the new system is based on users basically rating the importance of their issue. So that supposedly if a user reports a file deletion bug, it will seem more important than hey, this random thing glitched out for a second. However, most users are, like you know, while testers are a more subgroup in the first place, generally with these kind of feedback forms, users are just going to always report their issue as of the utmost importance. And it's still Microsoft's job to go through these and to find these issues in the first place. So this is just getting ridiculous.
And again, this is, this is one where there are reports ranging back from one to three months ago where it was already found and still being rolled out in this update. Now, yes, theoretically, these kinds of initial update waves are only supposed to go to people who manually request them. However, that doesn't always work out. And there were plenty of users, both in the comment section of my video and multiple computers that I was utilizing myself and my grandmother's where updates were not manually requested and 1809 was still forced itself upon those computers. Thankfully, no files got deleted outside of my main rig where I did manually request the update, but it's still getting a little bit ridiculous. And at this point, Windows users, as Jason put it, are at risk every time Microsoft fires out a Windows 10 update for something to go wrong, for legacy computers to just get bricked or constant blue screens or just be unable to work anymore. And those people are just crap out of luck for random file deletion bugs, for drivers and programs to update because they're not doing enough in advance to prevent that because these feature updates are basically like service packs and that their entire new operating system versions and random drivers and stuff just break for no apparent reason. Things like that, things that were not the case previously. So at this point in time, while I'd love to be like, yeah, go, go, go use Linux and yada, yada, I realize that's not a super realistic expectation or demand and I myself, while I use Linux on all of my laptops and my side computers, my primary work rig, can't switch over to Linux. Do delay updates whenever possible. Don't manually request updates for Windows 10. Don't try to seek them out if you're on a mission critical machine. And if you're on Windows 10 Pro by any chance, which I don't necessarily recommend giving Microsoft more money in order to avoid their updates. But if you happen to be on Windows or Windows 10 Pro, you can actually just set it to defer updates altogether and kind of keep the delay going. While I, I have always been a person who thinks that security updates are important to install on your machine and you shouldn't avoid them. It's getting stupid at this point and I just can't let I just can't suggest that people update their computers anymore, which is a really weird position to be in. I yeah.